Ricky, 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 why do people no longer like you? Hey everybody, Walty Wanders, buckle up, strap in, we got a hard hitting, pull no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows, no sunshine. Just going to give it to you and give it to you straight, we got a good one to unpackage um, today, who's ready to do a little moto whistle blowing. Today we're going to talk a little bit about our boy Ricky and even <laughs> Fro. This is an interesting story for me. And the, the reason I, I wanted to report on this and why it came to my mind is I noticed our boy, Fro, Fro Daddy, Jeff Emig, uh, ex-pro rider back in the day, back in the day. Walty always likes to talk about back in the day. Back in the day, the industry wasn't woke or broke. It was totally awesome. No electric bikes back then. No, 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 no. Two Stro gears and smashing queers. That's what was up. Not anymore. You can't even say that anymore. You might get unmonetized. Anyway, today we're going to talk about, and look, some pretty revealing polling went down. If you're new to the channel, jump over to the community page. Subscribe first. Jump over to the community page of the Walty Wanders YouTube channel and participate in the polling. <laughs> And then do a little bench racing after. It's rad. We're going to take a look at some of that today. But I saw Fro went ahead and went to the Loretta's, uh, to Loretta's this year, to the ranch, and lined it up for the 40 and 50 plus uh, races. And I saw, I forgot who was it that was like, I, I think he did. I think Fro posted on his Instagram that he's like, some people are saying that you, I shouldn't be able to race. Hey, so still trying to make my way back from Loretta's. I wanted to address uh, some just negativity I've seen on uh, some of my posts about uh, former professionals like myself, like Brown, and others. Going back to race uh, Loretta's and the vet classes. Because I'm, I'm a pro rider. He's an ex-washed up pro rider that got thrown out like an old towel by the industry. Which brings us back to our boy, Ricky. <laughs> Ricky kind of replaced Fro because Fro and Ralph were the voice of Supercross for many, many years. And here's the ironic thing for me. We asked it on the channel. We said, who would you rather hang with at this point, Fro or Ricky? Fro or Ricky, who would you rather hang with? Now, the funny thing is about Ricky, like we didn't, for some reason, we just, a lot of people aren't really digging Ricky right now. I mean, mostly because he's in the industry's pocket at such a high level that he has no authenticity. Very little that I'm seeing anymore. Well, Fro has nothing to lose. So when he shows up to actually race, I didn't see Ricky line it up on the gate at Loretta's. Fro lined it up and won both classes. I thought that was pretty outstanding that he would do that. But it was curious to me because you see when Fro was basically doing Ricky's job, we gave him the same hazing I'm sure back then. Although social media wasn't as prevalent then, so it was a, it was maybe a little harder to do, but Fro, anytime somebody's in the limelight, they're susceptible or going to be put under the microscope a little further. Then if you sugarcoat it, which I think we're seeing Ricky now because it's become a little bit see-through for me. It becomes a little bit see-through when you clearly only time he posts anything is if he's getting paid to do it. Unlike Fro, he's not getting paid to post anything on his social media that I'm seeing. I mean, maybe some things, but not. he's not all just sell out. Ricky looks a little sell, sold out, and then he's been exposed a little bit of being a little bit of a prima donna in his new role if he doesn't like somebody that's announcing in the booth, commentating, or whatever. He Somehow they magically get ushered out. And so I don't know if there's any truth to that or not, but I found it kind of interesting. Why is it now that Ricky is not as embraced as maybe he once was? So let's jump over to the Walty Wanders community page of the channel and take a look at what you guys said. If if you when you were asked, would you rather hang with Fro 
or Ricky. Let's jump over and take a look at that right now. Then we're going to meet back here to wrap this one up. Let's get started. All right, buckle up and strap in when asked on the Walty Wanders community page of the YouTube channel. Who would you rather hang with, Fro or Ricky? 71% of you said, let me hang out with Fro Daddy, while only 29% of you said, I'll hang with Ricky. Now let's jump in and see what you guys said in the comments. First up, Oh Look Bananas writes, don't worry, Ricky, I voted for you. Well, that was nice of him. He gave Ricky a sympathy vote. Let's keep looking. Next up, our boy Jason Reeves writes, I've heard that Fro was voted likely to have been a rock star, if not an MXer. Yup, that's probably true. Next up, Jerry Hill says, I'd drink Jack with Fro. Sorry, Ricky. And one of my favorites comes from our boy Aaron. I don't even know who Fro is, but I'd rather hang out with him than that snob Ricky. Nitro 101 comments, Fro, Ricky's a toolbox. Industry just uses that guy. Ouch. Wheels of Steel comments, I'd hang out with neither. I feel you, buddy. And last but not least, our boy Beef Jerky writes, I'd hang out with Ralph. Now let's get back to the studio so we can wrap this one up. All right, friends, welcome back. There, <laughs> Hilarious. That was hilarious to me. Insane. Most of you, 70%, are saying, I'll hang with Fro. And probably the 30% that <laughs> want to hang with Ricky, they didn't know who Fro was. They're like, I don't know who's this Fro guy. I guess it's been that far along now that a lot of you guys don't remember who Fro was. But Fro, I believe for me, like I, I, I like Fro now. But back when he was commentating, like, I even liked him then. I didn't have any dislike. The industry never really liked Fro because, like, one of the comments said, you know, Fro kind of lived like a rock star. He got in a little trouble. He was, him and McGrath were living the high rock star life as moto guys, which ushered in really a lot of the moto movies that we have, we've come to know and love. The lifestyle, the, 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 the lifestyle behind the sport, a look inside the athlete's world. It's, it was very much a rock star lifestyle. You can't show that anymore. Why? Because it's all contrived now, watered down, and probably courtesy, I hate to say it, good friends like our friend over at Ricky who wants to make this mainstream football playoffs. No! This is Mo Toe ruining the sport, if you try to take it around, away from what it was built on, high octane, high flying, high danger level. There's no way to sugarcoat. I don't even care if you put electric bikes out there. It ain't going to be safe. It'll never be safe. This is just life on two wheels. It's what it is, man. You can't sugarcoat that. It's not a mainstream sport. It can't be a mainstream sport for those reasons. And final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, as a moto guy that wants to see you not only win on the track, off the track. Understand the waters we're swimming in now. Shark infested. Shark infested. Ricky, welcome back to the kiddie pool, my friend. It looks like everybody would rather hang out with washed up old has-been fro than current Triumph spokesperson and commentator and whatever else he's selling, our good friend Ricky. Ricky, we can never minimize what you did on the motorcycle. You're the greatest of all time. There's no taking that away from you. But even Emig, a past champ, wasn't insulated from the blowback eventually the industry delivered. I don't think anybody's safe in this one, but I'll be here to blow the lid off it every step of the way because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content and want to humbly ask to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media link in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there, along with links to channels I've appeared on I think you might enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to love the next video, and there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Don't go over the bars. I'll see you on the next video.